you know, we do a lot of segments on yoga and how wonderful it is for our minds, for our bodies. But how about including your baby? We are at Tranquil Space in Northwest DC, getting in on one of the Baby and Me classes. Carol Collins is one of the teachers. And you know, all the, the babies here range in age from about nine weeks to nine months. And look how soothing this is. I mean, it must be really important to um, you know, incorporate this kind of practice. So I know Carol is in the, the midst of, of practicing right now. And so she's kind of instructing everyone along. And I know that you're you're kind of in your zone right now. So so if I'm gonna Let's inter- go ahead and take some movements with the legs, right? So we'll hold on to either the calves or the thighs. We'll take one leg in toward the belly and then the other leg in toward the belly. And we'll do this nice and slowly, just kind of see how they're reacting to this. If anybody comes becomes upset or um, isn't enjoying this, just pick them up, right? And you can come back to it. And maybe you're at home watching us right now with your little one. Maybe you want to, you know, get onto the floor and, and try to practice some of these uh, poses as well. It's okay, little sweetheart. You know, this is a very organic class. Uh, since I've been sitting here and we've just been kind of watching everything, you know, just talking to a lot of the moms, they have a lot of positive things to say. Um, it's a space where they can come and, you know, not only give their babies lots of attention, but they can also give attention to themselves. So let's try the North Pole, South Pole game. For those babies who are ready for that, go ahead and bring your hands to their head and say North Pole. And bring your hands to their feet, South Pole. One hand is East Coast. The other hand is West Coast. Inside. Outside. Baby, you're the best. Let's do that again. North Pole. I was so excited to see this North Pole, South Pole. The parents were just saying that it was wonderful. So coming up in our nine o'clock hour, we're going to be back here with Baby and Me Yoga. And the moms and babies are going to be doing some warrior poses with the baby. So we've still got a lot more to see and do. And uh, also get uh, connected with me on my Facebook page. I'm going to do a little Facebook live from here so that you can see all of these little cuties up close and personal. Oh my gosh. Brian Vandegraaff, I don't have one yet. You know that. (laughs) But this is making me want one so bad. They're so cute. Namaste, Jumi and Larry. We are here at Tranquil Space, as you guys mentioned, with Carol Collins, who's an instructor here, a yoga instructor for Baby and Me Yoga. It's so quiet in here, knock on wood for right now. But uh, tell us a little bit, I guess, maybe about the importance of of doing, you know, yoga, but also including your baby. Yeah, well, when moms have babies, they need to get out. They need to socialize with one another. They need to get to know other moms and see moms with babies and feel safe in in a place where they know their baby can cry. They can change a diaper if they need to. They can feed their baby if they need to. And so that's what this class is about. It's really a, a tranquil, welcoming, accepting space and we're doing yoga we're so doing yoga. let's uh let's show off uh what all of these fabulous little pint-sized people can do well look first let's just try and find a nice aligned standing posture so while you're holding your baby or not right bend into your knees a little bit and shift your hips back so you're not having your hips forward right and hurting your back so your your hips are back just a little bit let's go ahead and step your right leg back for warrior one Angle your right foot a little bit, that back foot, right? And then you can sit your baby onto your front thigh, or you can keep holding them in toward your chest. Whatever works better for them. Good. Now, try and swivel that front hip back and the back hip forward, right? So, Amanda, that would be your right hip back and your left hip forward. Yeah. And we're really stretching the legs apart from one another, really finding some core action in our legs. Nice. If you want, you can lift both arms up or one arm up. Beautiful. Go ahead and open up to a warrior two, right? So the feet come a little further apart. You have more of a seat for your baby to sit onto. Now try to align that front knee. So that front knee is really coming out over the middle toes in your foot. You have that alignment. You're strengthening your legs. Take a deep breath in. Fill your belly. Fill your ribs. Take a long breath out and try to draw your front ribs in toward your spine. So we're using more of our core here, opening up into your mid-back. Deep breath in. Expand into your belly. Expand into your 
your ribs. Take a long breath out and draw your ribs in toward your spine so you feel your core working. Excellent. Go ahead and take your baby to your chest. Pivot around to the side of the mat to a goddess pose. Heels in, toes out. And Another they are three. continuing to do this, uh, this flow with their babies. Again, so important. And every one of the moms that are here have been saying how much that this has helped them. They do prenatal yoga here as well. So go on to my tranquil space. Is it my tranquil space or just tranquil space.com space.com. All right, go online for more information. Brian. Namaste. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> Back inside to you.